So just as a kind of a closing, I wanted just to spend a couple minutes talking about Fixed Point Designer. So this is something we have to help for those of you who really need to not only move from MATLAB to maybe product development, but need to move from floating point, which is traditionally what's done in MATLAB, but to that of Fixed Point. And usually, of course, you want to do this for a lot of performance reasons and code size reasons. So here highlighted in red, you can see we actually have something called Fixed Point Designer to help with this process. And the way this works is we provide you with a lot of nice analysis tools. So you can actually visualize the as far as the different data types, you can see what's going on graphically. And so at a high level, you have these nice interfaces to do things like test numerics, run through tests to also find range information if you're overflowing, underflowing, and you can iterate this over and over to converge on the right type of data types and also maybe the right resolution you might need. And this workflow exists for not only MATLAB but also for Simulink as well for those of you who are familiar with that workflow. So in the end, just the last slide here, just wanted to show you that, you know, really what we're focusing on is the section in yellow. So on the top is working with MathWorks tools, and the bottom is without. So as you're going through your product development cycles, we encourage you to, you know, spend some time and actually integrate MATLAB during the system design phase. As you're integrating your C code, you're starting to leverage code integration and code generation. The positive impacts with that, is you'll see, is downstream, is overall shortening uh, the de development cycle. You know, less time with implementation because you're leveraging existing code bases. Less time in integration, again, for the same reasons. You're integrating code and then having more realistic simulations. And then finally, you're testing more early and often. You were able to see how we were test, able to test directly in C code through MATLAB Engine, but also by using MEX, you can be testing the C code from the MATLAB environment as well. Sometimes that can be done across teams, so there's a lot of impact, as you can see, by just spending some time early on in the system design phase. So just in summary, hopefully now by the end of this session, you're able to see that by integrating MATLAB into your C, C++ product development workflow, you are now able to simulate I.O., visualize and test your C code directly from Visual Studio or Eclipse, rapidly prototype ideas and functionality by accessing toolbox functions before you have to commit them to writing them in C, but not only generating C code to seed new development, but also leveraging all your proven and existing code bases to give you a better starting point for those next generation designs, but also being able to deploy designs with more confidence and less time. So I'd just like to thank you for the time today and hope you found this session helpful in showing how MATLAB can help you by integrating MATLAB into your C, C++ product development workflow.